Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question Validate Stack Sequences. Given two sequences, pushed and popped, with distinct values, return true if and only if this could have been the result of a sequence of push or pop operations on the initially empty stack. So in the example 1, we are given a pushed sequence of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a pop sequence of 4, 5, 3, 2, 1. So we need to find out whether these sequences match or not. Since we have first element popped as 4, we can push all these elements till 4 in the stack and then pop 4 from the stack. After this we have 5 and we haven't pushed 5 yet so we will push 5 again. After we have pushed 5 then we have a pop sequence for 5, 3, 2, 1 and we also know that our stack would also contain 5 then 3, 2, 1 in the stack for being popped. And so the order of operations would be like this. And so we can return true. In the second example, we can try putting 1, 2, 3, 4 in the start and then pop 4 and 3. So now we are left with 1 and 2 in the stack. After that, we push 5 in the stack. So we are left with 1, 2 and 5. Then we can pop 5 which would give us 1 and 2 in the stack. But after this, I want 1 to be popped. But there is no chance of popping 1 before I can pop this 2. And so we return false. So this is what we need to do in the question. So now let's go ahead and see this with an example and how we can solve this. So let's take the first example. And here as we are going to mimic a stack, we'll take a stack. While we take a stack, we'll also need two pointers. One is in the pushed array and second is in the popped array and we will iterate over this pushed array. So since this popped array is not equal to the value or the top of the stack, we are going to push the element in the stack. So one gets pushed into the stack and after pushing one also, we are not getting a value which is equal to our first popped value and so we need to push some more values in it. So we go ahead and push 2 and now 2 is also not the element that needs to be popped to form this popped array and so we'll again go and push 3. Similarly, we push 4. Once we push 4, this popped element value and the top of the stack matches and so we can say that we can pop this top element. So we go ahead and pop it. Now we again check whether my top of the stack matches the current index in the popped element and as it does not, we cannot pop the element but we need to push the element and so we will push 5 in it. Now in the pushed array we have reached the end, there are no more element that can be pushed into the stack and over here then we will check for popped element and the top of the stack as both are equal we pop the element. Again as these both are equal, we pop the element. And similarly, we keep doing till the end. Now we have a empty stack and we have also reached the end of the popped element array. That means that we have popped all the elements. And so we can say that this sequence is possible and we return true. Now what if I just change the sequence of these last two? values in the popped array. If I did that, this would have been my condition while I reach this one and we can see that this one is not equal to the top of the element. So we would need to push some element into the stack and check whether I get the element that I need to pop. But since our pushed array is come to an end, we have pushed all the elements in the stack, we cannot push any more. And we cannot pop anymore because these are not equal. So here we can say that these sequence is not possible as we were not able to pop all the elements from the stack. And that's how we'll be solving this question. So now let's go ahead and quickly code this out. So we'll need a stack. With this we'll need two pointers i and j and we'll iterate over each element in push array. So, we'll take a for each loop for pushed and we'll take a pointer j for our popped element and so we'll initialize that to 0 and iterate over our pushed. While we are here, we initially push the element into our stack 
and now i'll check whether my top of the stack is equal to the element that needs to be popped right now and while that is true i need to keep on popping the elements from the stack so i'll take a while loop so over here i am checking whether my stack is not empty and whether my jth index that is my popped index is still within the range and my stack dot peak or my top element is equal to the element i am referring to in my popped if that is the case i will be popping an element from the stack and with this i'll also need to increment my j finally i need to return whether my j pointer has reached the end of my pop array or not so that's all about the question let's run this code and it's giving a perfect result for all the sample test cases let's submit this and it got submitted so the time complexity over here would be o of n and the space complexity would also be o of n as we are taking a stack to mimic it so that's it for today guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one till then keep learning keep coding